Today we're going to implement a levitation system like the one you'd find in Noita where the player can fly around and explore the cave system freely. My goal is to encourage a sense of exploration in my game instead of it feeling like a 2D platformer. Now I think a great place to start would be to adjust the physics process function here on my player script. I'll check if the player is on the floor and if so I can apply the jump velocity to the y value of my player's velocity. Otherwise I can define a new variable here called fly velocity and apply that instead if we're floating midair and we press the space bar. All right, let's quickly test this out and see when I jump, if I jump and maybe press it again midair. Oh yeah, there we go. So if I jump and keep pressing it, it will levitate a little bit and I can technically fly, especially if I hit it really quickly like this, but I think I can refine that so it's a little bit easier to actually fly and you don't have to like button mash your way up a cliff. Let's just try simply reordering the logic of when I'm checking on the floor and maybe adjusting the if else statements could fix it. So let's see if that works here and nope, that that actually made it worse, but now we know that it wasn't the order of the logic. Ah, here it is. I was using is just pressed in my input to check to see if the space bar was just pressed. Instead, if I change it to is pressed, it'll just look to see if you're holding the space bar and apply that upward momentum to the velocity. Hey, there we go. This is looking pretty nice. So it's functionally working, but I want to add a bit of a particle effect, very similar to Noita, where when you jump and levitate, a little bit of particle shoot up beneath you as though magic is it's kind of propelling you upward. And to handle that, we can add a CPU particle 2D to the player object here and we'll change the emission shape to be a sphere about six pixels in size and then in the code we can use the emitting property by setting it to true when we are flying to emit the particles and then when gravity is taking over we can then set it to false uh or it's just gonna emit all the time oh i'm an idiot i didn't actually set it to false i was setting it to true in both situations so there we go that looks a lot better it's now it's only actually emitting those particles when we are levitating let's refine the particle effect now and first we're going to change the order so that the particles will render behind the sprite and then i want to actually make the particles fade out toward the end of their lifetime and we can use the setting here to adjust the color ramp and set the fading off color to be an alpha of zero so it fades out to nothing oh my i really like how that looks. But as a mechanic, I don't want you to be able to fly infinitely. So I'm gonna to need to create some sort of system to limit the amount of levitation power the player has. And to do that, I'm gonna define a new signal on my signal bus, which will allow me to connect my user interface really easily to my player for when the levitation kind of amount changes. In the player script, I'll define two new variables, levitation amount and levitation cost. Then as we're flying, we will reduce the levitation amount. And on the opposite side, when we're on the floor, we can gain back the amount equal to the cost. We'll also make sure to adjust that by delta so it's not frame rate limited. And finally here we can define a maximum amount and then use a min and max function so that we kind of lock the amount of levitation you can gain slash lose so we're not going over and we're not going into a negative amount because negative levitation amount doesn't make sense. Oh and, and actually lastly now we need to check to see if levitation amount is greater than zero before we allow you to actually jump and fly. All right let's see if the levitation actually runs out after a certain time. Yep. Oh, perfect. There we go. My final goal for the day is to hook up the user interface. So we'll use that signal we defined for levitation changed and connect that on the UI script I have defined here to have a method which just sets the amount on a progress bar to be equal to the new amount. Then on the player script, whenever the levitation amount is changed, we'll make sure we're calling the signal bus levitation change dot emit function so that the user interface will update accordingly. And a quick little test here, you can see in the top right corner, yep, the bar is adjusting, but it looks really ugly. So let's fix it up by just creating some quick and dirty styling right on the progress bar and kind of make it a little bit wider so it's easier to see if you're actually gaining or losing levitation power. Perfect, I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's gonna move my game a little bit further away from a precision platformer where you need to get a pixel perfect jump and instead lean into that feeling of exploration where you can kind of just fly around the cave, fight enemies, find cool, loot, bring it back to your base, craft up new items, and dive back into the caves and repeat that process with this beautiful progression loop. I'm, I'm having such a fun time making this game, and I hope you're having a good time following along as well. I'd love to hear your feedback down in the comments, or come join me over in my Discord. Until next time, I've been Aramis. Have a wonderful day.